is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning with your host brother Oscar York Divorce, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. Every time I wake up in the morning, I fall down on my knees and pray. Well, I thank God for opening up my eyes and blessing me just to see another day. Well, cause I know somebody can get up out of their bed, but God saw fit, y'all. Thank you for another day. 
was fun to singing, thanking the Lord for one more day. Amen, amen, and amen. My friend, the Lord has given all of us one more day. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, <laughs> praise the Lord for one uh, more day. Amen and amen. Of course, you know who this is. <laughs> amen. This is Brother Oscar York, the voice on our beautiful, beautiful program, chatting from the Word this morning. Hey, hey, hey. Chatting from the Word this morning. Amen and a, amen. Where well, we are praying up and praising up and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. <laughs> amen. And amen. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 and we are so glad, we are so glad to do that, to bring a little joy, 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 joy down in your heart, down in your heart this morning. <laughs> yes, we are, we are so glad to bring a little joy down in your heart this morning, being Monday, this is Monday, this is Monday, and we all hope that you uh, went to church on yesterday. To praise the Lord. Yesterday was his day. Oh, all day. Praise him, my friend. And praise him. Amen, amen. And amen. It was the psalmist who says, This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for another beautiful, beautiful day that he has created for you and for me. Give all of us another chance. Another chance. If you're on this time side of life, if you're on the top soul and not the soul on top of you, the Lord has given you another chance to make what's wrong in your life right and to walk closer and closer with him. With him. Amen. And amen. All right. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> okay, Brother Oscar. We hope that you're doing that. We really are. We hope that you are, are taking time to get that right. Whatever you need to do to walk closer with the Lord. Get it right. Get it right. He died for you for that for that opportunity so that you may have salvation. Get it right. Make it right. Walk close with him, my friend. Walk close with him. Because, my friend, he is worthy of our praise. Yes, he is. He is worthy of all. On this beautiful, beautiful morning. Yes, 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 it's time for your weather report. And the weather report <laughs> for the West characters and Dayton, Ohio, and the surrounding areas is. 54 degrees and sunny, 54 degrees and sunny, and it's pretty cool out there, 54 is cool, I believe, <laughs> for some, and if your children is going out to school, make sure they are wearing their jackets, if you're going to work, make sure you wear something warm, if you're going to uh, to the stores and whatever you're trying to do to go out, whatever you're doing to 
uh, to if you're going out, stay warm, stay ponder luck, but at the same time, be careful. Be careful because there's so much that's going on today with all the mass killings, with all the road rages, with the people just, you know, just killing you because they just don't like you. So, my friend, we need to, as we stay states here on Chatting from the Word, we need to stay praying up and praising up this morning. Yes, we do. Stay praying up and praising. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You're still listening to Chatting from the Word, and we hope you have your ears on, and we hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program, and you all that have been listening to us quite some time, we just want to thank you for your patronage. We just want to thank you for watching us, uh, listen, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> for listening to us for this time and for this long. And we appreciate you very, very much, especially you all that are listening to us live. We appreciate that uh, very, uh, very much. But my friend, if this happened to be your first time listening, if this happened to be your first very, ver <laughs> excuse me, your very first time listening, we want to welcome you to the program. But we want to do more than just welcome you to the program. Yes, we do. We want to do more than just welcome you to the program. But we would love to make you our honorary guest this morning. Honoring you this morning for having your... Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> We appreciate, we do appreciate it this morning for you having your ears on and here on Chatting from the Word. We're trying. We're definitely trying to put that extra something in your Christian walk on this morning so that you may have faith, as Jesus says, as the size of a mustard seed. Amen and amen. And we hope you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program because we do have a beautiful chat this morning for you. Yes, we do. To start your day off right in the Lord. The week off <laughs> and your day off right in the Lord this morning. And of course, it is a continuation of, uh, of uh, 2 Corinthians 11 verses 1 through 10. And we are going to a uh, signal on verse 2 and verse 3 this morning. And we're talking about the one husband, one husband, one husband. And Paul's saying here, I have, um, I have exposed you to one husband. And many today are confused, if I may use that term, confused about one husband. One husband. What do that really detail? What do that that really mean? So this morning we are going to get a little, maybe a little further into our chat about the one husband, and so that we may know the one husband, and to know him is to love him. <laughs> amen. Amen. And amen. And the scripture text that we are going to use this morning will be Colossians 1, verse 28, and Ephesians 5, 23 through 33. So we hope, my friend, that you keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You're still listening to Chatting from the Word, and we hope that you love what you're listening to. We hope that you love... <laughs> I had to repeat that. 
We hope that you love what you're listening to. And if you love what you're listening to, my friends, share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, those that you're partnering up with on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and many, many more. Share, share, and share this program. And if you're wondering what you can listen to the program, listen up, listen up, listen up. And here is our announcer to allow you to know what you can hear the program. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course, you can Google our program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar Wall. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast, Fraker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen. And amen. <laughs> That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. If you want to catch our program, you can listen to it to all those stations on this beautiful, beautiful morning. And if you want to catch us live, if you want to catch us live, of course, you can listen to us through Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Spotify, and uh, Twitter, Tumblr, Spotify, Spotify, and Spreaker, and many, many more. <laughs> amen. And amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, you are listening to Chang from the Word. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or chatting from the word at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page on Facebook page on any page that you're listening to the program through, and we should be able to receive your prayer request. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, that calls me from a world of cares and me. My father. 
Amen and amen. And of course, this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for, you can send it to those entities our announcer continue on announcing. And as always, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do a we do uh, respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'll be just so delighted and so pleased to do just, uh, just that. Again, this is our prayer time. And we want you to keep in your prayers those that have requested prayers, those that have lost loved ones, and pray, continue to pray for me. Of the loss of my son, we really haven't buried him yet. We are waiting for an, uh, an application to bury him or to cremate him. So keep me in your prayers. We're still going through some grieving time here, uh, some times and uh, and some hard times. So just uh, keep us in your prayers. Keep others in your prayers that have lost loved ones. Keep those in your prayers that are sick and set in and that body, bodies are wreaked in pain. Just keep them in your prayers. Pray for the government in which we live in. Pray for those that are caught in natural disasters around the world. Just pray, pray, and pray. Again, this is our prayer time, and our prayer time scripture will be found in Philippians 1, verses 3 through 8. That's Philippians 1, verses 3 through 8. And Brother Paul write to the Philippian church, and he write these words. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, and as much as both in my bonds, and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. Ye all are partakers of my grace. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's continue to pray for one another. Let's pray for one another and let's continue on praying for one another. Are you ready, my friend, to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a little talk with the Father? Let's pray. Let's pray. Our Father sits high and looks low. Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Father of us all. Oh, Father, we come to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, we do. And Father, we just want to thank you this morning for giving all of us another day. We, on this time side of life, we on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. Give it all of us another, list, another chance to make what's wrong and right in our lives so that we may walk closer and closer with you, Father. We thank you, thank you, Father, 
so much for now. And for all of you come thanking you, especially for all thanking you. For allowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, to come down on this sense world to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to connect with you. Thank you so much for that. And Father, we especially thank you for allowing him that he himself took upon himself the cross, becoming sin in our place, so that we may wash our sins away in his blood. Father, 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 thank you, thank you so much, so much, so much, so much for that. Yes, we do. Help us, Father, when we can't stand anymore. Help us to keep on walking for you would even in our time. Please help us. Please help us. Father, we pray for those that are caught up in natural disasters this morning on the earthquakes, storms, fires. We pray, Father, that they may lift themselves up, pull themselves up from the ashes, and continue on living and loving you. And Father, we pray for those that call up with mass killings and murderings. Father, we pray for them. They continue looking up to you for this coming, their help. Father, we pray for all the nations that are called up in wars. Father, we pray they find that peace and the peace that passes all understanding. Oh, Father, Father, we pray for any boy, girl, man, and woman who want you this morning, who want to seek for Jesus. Father, we pray that you give them the opportunity to do that, to seek for Jesus so they may find him and have salvation and be added to the body of Christ. Father, we pray that they will receive that opportunity. Oh, Father, we thank you for allowing salvation to be brought down. Yes, we do, Father. Father, we pray for those that are sick and shedding. Father, we pray for those that bodies are reaped in pain. We pray for those, Father, that going through some troubling times. We pray for those, Father, that are, are just sick this morning in the hospitals, Father. We pray for them, Father. We pray for those that lost loved ones, Father. We pray that you put your loving arms around them. We pray for those, Father, that lost loved ones to the hands of the police. Father, we pray for them, Father. We pray for each police officer who have given their lives in the line of duty. We pray for their families. Father, that you will comfort them. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders this morning. Father, we pray that they never make a promise for any of us of worshiping you and thus is your word, Father. But, Father, they may make laws, make laws we all can live in peace and harmony. Father, we pray for the church once again, Father. We pray that the church may continue on the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. Lord and Savior. Oh, Father, we pray for all our listeners this morning. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Help them through their struggles. Help them through all their doubts and fears. Father, cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they want to resurface in the world. Father, we pray for all of them throughout this morning. Chat in front of Help us and continue on keeping this beautiful program on the airwaves. Father, we pray, Father, we pray this word for our lesson. One house, Father, help us that we may say something 
this morning to help those recognize that we only have one husband and there's only one way and that one way is in Jesus Christ. Call them, pray for those that are struggling with this morning in their marriages, in their homes, struggling to find a job, struggling to keep a job, struggling to keep a roof over their head, struggling to keep food in their stomach. Thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us. And as always, I hope we pray for something that's on your mind. And of course, if you have a prayer request, you can send it to those entities. Our announcer, continue on announcing. Amen and amen. Man. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You're still listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. And we just hope this morning that you still have your ears on and ready for the chat for this morning. And as I stated, this is the best part of the program for me is where we are chatting about the Word of God this morning. Are you ready to chat? <laughs> are you? Well, we hope that you are. We hope that you're ready to chat about the Word and from uh, the Word on this beautiful, uh, beautiful morning. Our volume is going crazy, and we just hope that you can hear us, and if we, and if you need to turn up your volume, uh, you are welcome to do that. If we come on a little bit low, and we hope that you can hear us this morning, because the word of God is too important to miss this morning, and we hope that we can say something. Uh, to brighten up your day, to help you see Jesus Christ as he wants you to see him. Because in this world in which we live, in today's world, many are having trouble seeing Christ the way he wants you to see him, the way God wants you to see Christ. And you may ask, well, Brother Oscar, how do you know that? All you need to do is just look around you and see how many people 
who do not want to obey him, especially when it comes to our worship, when it comes to being in him, when it comes to being obedient to him, when it comes to our salvation. And I don't know about you this morning, but salvation, salvation is too, is too important to miss. Because Brother Oscar recognized that one day this world is going to end. I recognize one day that I, I'm going to die. I recognize that if I don't die before he comes back, that Christ is coming back. And when Christ comes back, he's coming back for his church and nobody else. And we have, we have preached on that many times. When Christ comes back, he's coming back for his church. And if you're not in his church, you can't go home with him. It won't be a homecoming to you but a day of destruction. And I believe we, we, we talked about that subject on many, uh, many occasions of who are going to heaven. And many of us, we think we're going and we're not going. We are going to be surprised. Amen and amen. I, <laughs> I was thinking, I hope I make it. <laughs> I hope I make it. <laughs> I really do. I hope I make it. I hope you make it. I hope we can enjoy Jesus and God the Father and just be with the holy angels and the heavenly angels for all, through all eternity. And that's my hope. And that's my joy. That's my prayer. And I hope that is your prayer for this morning as well. Amen. <laughs> and amen. I'm waiting for time here to tickle down so I can uh, say this here. Uh, get relaxed. It's close enough. <laughs> get relaxed. Get relaxed. Get relaxed. Go ahead on to have your favorite morning drink coffee, tea, milk, juice, uh, chocolate, cold chocolate, hot chocolate. We ain't talking about the hard stuff now. Well, go ahead on and have your morning drink and get relaxed. If you're relaxing in your reclining chair, go ahead on, recline on up. If you're more relaxed sitting at your dinette table, go ahead on and have a seat. But what we request of you this morning is to have a copy of God's Word. Of God's Word. Have a copy. I had to take a swallow there. Have a copy of God's Word <laughs> so that you may follow me in our teaching. Because Brother Oscar, he, he, he don't want to tell you nothing that's not contained in his Word. I want to be exactly right by what we're saying this morning. And I hope you can understand that. I hope you can understand Brother Oscar wants to be exact about what he is teaching. And I do recognize that many out there do not like what the Bible says or what we are teaching here. How do you know that, Brother Oscar? They have called me and told me that. Brother Oscar, well, years ago, it was many of them. They had to slow down a little bit. And to, oh, that's, the, that's not what the Bible says. And, and then when I tell them and take them and show them what it does say. Oh man, they have egg on their face. <laughs> All right, Brother Oscar. They have egg on their face. and say, you're right, Brother Oscar. That's in there. I need salvation. And I hope this morning that you're listening. We hope this morning uh, that you have your ears on and that you are listening. We're talking about this morning uh, uh, one husband, one husband. And basically, we're not talking about the husband and wife situation. Let me get that out the door. Uh, we're not talking about the husband and wife situation. And we want to read verse 2 and 3. 
But Paul here is not talking about the one, uh, the husband and wife situation. But let me read this verse 2 quickly again, verse 2 and 3. Paul is saying, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. Underline that word, godly. Godly jealousy. For I have espoused you, underline that word, espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin. Now, underline the, the statement, chaste virgin, in Christ. But I fear, lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve, through his subtlety, to uh, your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And what Paul is saying now, I have helped you, I have taught you how to embrace our Master, our Lord. And that's what the word husband means here. Master, Lord. Master, Lord. And the master and the Lord that Paul is talking about is Jesus Christ. Because many today, even today, are having problems embracing him and only him. And pretty soon you're going to see why Paul is saying that that uh, he is so glad. He is, uh, he have helped them to embrace, help them to love the master, Jesus Christ, the master. And we want to look at this chaste virgin. Now, you know we're not talking about a chaste uh, virgin, a woman or a man being a virgin or that virgility. If I may use that term without getting anyone upset. But turn with me to Colossians 1 and 28, and we will show you what Paul is talking about when he's talking about the chaste virgin in Christ. And if you have Colossians 1.18, read with me because we want to show you what Paul is referring to when we're talking about the chaste virgin in Christ. Paul says in Colossians to the Colossian church, his epistle to the Colossian church, Colossians 1 and verse 28, Paul said, whom we preach, warning every man, teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Now that virgin that Paul was talking, that chaste virgin that Paul was talking about in 2 Corinthians 11 and uh, verse 2 is the fact that he may present us perfect in Christ Jesus. Now what we're talking about here, what Paul is referring to here, he's not talking about perfectness, but perfect where? In Christ Jesus. Oh, my friends, we all have frailties. We all have faults. None of us are perfect. But here Paul is saying we can be perfect in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus. And how do you be perfect in Christ Jesus? Let's keep on growing, growing in Christ. When you fall, get right back up. When you fall, get right back up. Tell the Father, I've sinned. Please forgive me. Help me through uh, what I'm struggling with. And this is how you present yourself perfect in Jesus Christ. Or in Christ Jesus. 
Oh, I, I don't know about you this morning, but I love the Lord. I really love him. And I want to be with him as I live on this earth. And we hope that you all feel the same. And as we said, Paul here is not talking about a husband and wife situation. But I guess we can compare the husband and wife situation uh, to help our marriages to what Paul says in Ephesians 5. So turn with me to Ephesians 5. And we want to read this, and I'm reading this to let you know how we need to be in Christ Jesus. And of course, marriages, if you want to take a page uh, from the love that we should have for Jesus Christ, to love your wives and wives to love your husbands, that's fine too. But here in Ephesians 5, beginning with verse 23, uh, Paul says, let's go to verse 22. <laughs> wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own Husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle, or any other, any such thing, but that it, it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives in their love their wives as their own bodies. He that loves, he that loveth his wife, loveth himself. For no man ever yet hate, hated his own flesh, but nourisheth it, cherisheth it, even as the Lord, the church, for we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. But this is a great mystery. But I speak, now listen to these words, and these, this is important here. Because I want you to grasp the one husband this morning. I want you to grasp your Savior this morning. I want you to grasp your master this morning. But here Paul says in verse 32, This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you, in particular, so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. In other words, what Paul is saying here, and like I said, this is a good remedy for any marriages too. <coughs> Excuse me. But what Paul is referenced to here is our relationship to Christ. Our love for Christ. Because he's talking about, as he said in verse 32, Christ 
and the church. Our relationship with Christ, the church, is the wife, is the bride of Christ. And being the bride of Christ, we should be in obedience to Christ. Because we, being the church, we are Christ's wife. Uh, and we should be able to embrace Christ, to love him, to know him, and being able to talk about him. Many of you don't know Christ. If somebody asks you about Christ this morning, what can you say? What can you say about Christ this morning? Oh, I know you can say Christ is good. I know you say you can say he's loving. I know you can say he's merciful. But what can you say about him? What do you know about him? Do you know uh, do you know Christ inside and out? Do you, do you know his desire? Do you know his love? Do you know Christ? Have you embraced Christ? And many of us today have not embraced Christ. Many of us today don't know Christ. We believe we know Christ, but don't, don't guess at knowing Christ, but know Christ. Know him. And it's through his word that we get to know him. And the reason why Paul is telling this to the Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians, you, you must look at the layout of the Corinthian church. The Corinthian church is, 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 is located where many people can come to it. The Corinthian church, I can imagine, was a nice size gathering. And I can imagine many that would, would go into the Corinthian church and many who call themselves members of the Corinthian church probably was teaching false teaching. So Paul was telling the Corinthian church, you must embrace Christ this morning and recognize he's your master. And we all need to do that. We all need to embrace Jesus Christ, allow him to be his master so we may get to know him. And when others are teaching false teachings, that we may recognize that. And in verse 3, and we're going to let this be our last thought, because we need to get on out of here. In verse 3, Paul said, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent be gold Eve through his subtlety. In other words, the serpent be gold Eve. Why? How? Because of false. The things he was saying to Eve falsely. And uh, today the uh, serpent, uh, if you want to say Satan, the world is regaling some of us because of so many false teaching that's out there in the world. And this is what Paul is saying here. And then Paul says, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that's in Christ. If Paul said, I don't want your minds to be corrupted, to be evil, to think evil, but I want your minds to be on Jesus Christ and him only. On Jesus Christ and him only. And as I said in today's world, false teachings are going on in today's world. And the only thing we need to do today is to see what's in the word, live by it the best way we can. And when others come to us with false teachings, we may be able to let them know about Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. That's all I have for you today. We hope that uh, we are teaching and chatting to you this morning about the word so that you may embrace the word and live of the word on this beautiful, beautiful 
morning. And again, we want to thank you for being with us, joining us, and those that have joined us live. We want to, to uh, thank you for that. And those that are going to listen to us later, share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, and subscribe to many of our stations, especially YouTube, where we're coming on live at this time. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, thy Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is being done. Father, we just want to thank you this morning for allowing us to be able to come together, teach and preach your word, teach your word, to show the simplicity in Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all of our listeners. Father, we pray that they may learn the lessons in the chat that we're teaching, that you help them to continue on living for you, and to show Christ in their lives. And they're walking with that special snap, crackle, and pop so they may show the world Christ in them. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody, love everybody, and make God bless. I want to be true. I live this moment with it because of you.